Well, hi, my dear friends. It's a joy to connect with you on this platform, Sitam Church Online. My name is Charles Obara, Senior Pastor at Sitam Karen, and it's always a pleasure to be able to talk to you on this platform. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about Good Friday. Now, we know that Good Friday is a day that Christ died on the cross. And uh, normally when um, uh, someone dies, we don't call it good news. In fact, it's sad news. We, we mourn, I mean, we, uh, we go to condole and encourage people because of the bereavement they are going through. And it's a very difficult and a painful moment for the immediate family to friends and to relatives. So we don't call it, uh, you know, a good day or a good thing. Uh, of course, there are, you know, worse criminals who die. And some people, it's like good readers. Even then, people never quite celebrate the death of anybody because it's not good news but so what makes Jesus de uh, death at the cross different I think we need to go back to the Bible and understand what was Jesus mission here on earth now John the Baptist introduced him as a lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world Jesus is a lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world and so Jesus came to die for our sins. Isaiah will tell us in Isaiah 53 that he took away our punishment. All our sins were laid upon him. He was a lamb that was led to slaughter. So he was slaughtered on a Friday uh, so that he could die for our sins. So it is a good Friday because someone died for us. He took our place at the cross and died for our sins. But secondly, why is it a Good Friday? It's a Good Friday because the punishment that was duly ours was upon him. Remember the beatings? Remember the torture and the ultimate crucifixion of the cross? That is what we were supposed to receive as sinners. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. So it's a Good Friday because Jesus took my punishment, he took your punishment, so that then now we can be called the children of God. But also it's a Good uh, Friday because uh, Christ has reconciled us back to God. It's good news. When reconciliation happens, when you have warring parties and parties that don't see eye to eye, that do not, you know, talk together, parties that, you know, are estranged for some reason, when they are able to be brought back together and they're able to talk to one another, not at each other, that is good news. So what happened in the Garden of Eden when Adam sinned, unfortunately and tragically as that event was, uh, then humanity was plunged into sin. We were separated from God. In fact, Adam and Eve were driven from the Garden of Eden out of that garden. And so um, uh, the, the relationship between man and God was severed. But Christ came to reconcile us back to God. At the cross, he said, it is finished. The price is paid. Now we have been brought near to God. So as men as now believe in Christ Jesus are now children of God. Not just the creation of God, but children of God. That sounds like good news to me. It's great news actually that we are now been reconciled, you know, uh, with Christ. But finally, why is Friday a good, you know, a good Friday? Friday is a good Friday because the ransom price was paid. Let me go back again to the Garden of Eden. Uh, on that uh, day when Adam and Eve disobeyed God and did, you know, what they were told not to do, what happened is that they relinquished their authority to the devil. So Satan gained dominion over man. Now, what used to come easy in the garden, you know, the fruits they used to enjoy, now had to come the hard way. Through the sweat of their brow or their faces, they could earn a living. Even then, work became so torturous. So things were so, so difficult. In fact, under the yoke of sin, we were like, you know, uh, slaves to sin. Through the first Adam, we fell and we became slaves to the enemy. But Christ came so that he could set us free. He paid what we call the ransom price. So the price was paid for us. Now we have been ransomed. The different way to put it is this way. We have been redeemed, not with silver or gold, but with the precious blood of the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. So this is great news. In fact, it's great news uh, to humanity. 
that Good Friday is, may have been bad Friday to Jesus because he suffered at the cross and he cried. Remember, you know, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabakitani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Because the whole sin of humanity was laid upon him. But to us, it's good news because he paid the price for us so that we do not continue to live as sinners. The way has been made for us. We have been forgiven. As many as have be believed in Christ Jesus, the price has been paid for us so that we can enjoy now a good relationship with God so that we can be called the children of God. Behold what manner of this, what manner of love is this that we should be called the children of God. As many as of us have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus, we are children of God. I wonder my dear friends, is Good Friday good to you? Is the death of Christ good news to you? Have you accepted him into your life? Have you repented of your sins? Have you accepted Christ Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Maybe you're still battling with sin. You're bound in all manner of addictions into sin. You don't enjoy your life. The good news is that the price has been paid for you that you may gain now new access to God the Father. I just want to pray for you uh, so that this Easter season can actually be your greatest season in your life. It can be a turning point in your life. You can open a new chapter in your life when you choose to embrace Christ, who is our Lord and Savior, who died on Good Friday to bring us uh, eternal life. Let me pray for you. Our Father and our God, we thank you because of Christ Jesus. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And I pray for my friends who are watching me right now, some of whom may still be in sin and in bondage. I pray for them that God, you will set them free. Through the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ, they will be free to love you, to serve you, and to walk in your ways, King of glory. Thank you that Christ came to die for us. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I pray that your death will not be in vain in their lives and in the hearts and in the minds of my dear viewers today. I pray salvation. I pray forgiveness. I pray reconciliation. I pray your blessing upon each one of them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, it's been joy talking to you. I want to hear from you how this has spoken to your heart. Please get in touch with me. The contacts are available to you at the bottom of your screen. I want to hear from you. God bless you and have a very blessed Easter and a real good, good Friday. God bless you. Amen.